what we have here is Lenovo ThinkPad T410. It was a very popular model because of the durability and the reliability. It's getting really old and the owner of the computer wanted to upgrade the RAM and the SSD because it's got a traditional hard disk drive which slows down this entire computer. Some ThinkPad models, uh, you need to remove the keyboard to access the memory slots and even for the storage. But this one, you can access from the bottom side, which makes it a lot easier than those uh, ThinkPad models. So flip it over like this, and of course you need to remove this battery sliding out towards the upside first. The memory, okay, let's upgrade the memory first. There's one Philip head screw here. All you gotta do is removing this and you can use a plastic prying tool or a fingernail. And just grab a different tool and pry it up like this and there is your memory. But the problem is I only see one slot available when I access from the bottom panel. If I'm right, there's one more memory slot on this ThinkPad model, but I only have one, which means the another one is located underneath the keyboard. I'll put it away, and then I'll show you how to remove and replace the drive. If you see right here, there is another Philip head screw. Remove it. And then you can slide it out, uh, just the cover, like this. And here, if you have a look at it carefully, there is a plastic grab handle where you can grab it to split out. We're going to switch it to a solid state drive in a minute. There is a, a cover, a metal cover, that shields this disk drive from a variety of shocks and physical vibrations. But here, if you look at it, there's a one screw. I don't know why it's there's no screw here in my case. It's already removed. I know I didn't, but there's a key, uh, there's a screw that you need to remove right here, and there's one more right here. Also removed. I don't know who did this before, but in my case, I can just remove the keyboard and I can access the memory slot. Now you can slightly press the keyboard down and slide it towards up like this and the keyboard will basically slide it up a little bit towards the upside and then you can use a prying tool to pry up the keyboard like this and then you have to grab it towards yourself there you go that's how you access the heatsink and the CPU, Wi-Fi card, and the second memory slot right here. You can simply remove the existing memory and you can switch to a bigger one. Okay, that was how to replacing memory and hard disk drive on ThinkPad T410 models. If you have any questions, leave comments. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching.